So I met Henry and Lauren in the Canaries last summer and we were talking about going to this uh, Wave Championships in Denmark. Uh, Lauren unfortunately had to drop out, but we picked up Miguel and Maria, so it should be a really fun trip. For competitions, you want to have all your gear ready. So I like to pack in plenty of time, you know, I might have broken something or lost something, so it's always good to pack early. The rubber bit just broke as I undid it. That's so freaking annoying. Going to the airport this time wasn't too bad. I mean, it's always a pain carrying all your gear through the airport. The trolleys sometimes don't move sideways easily or there's loads of people in the way, so it can be a little bit annoying, but once you get your bags off, you can just hop on the plane and it's all uh, pretty smooth. Found one bag. So it's always a bit of a worry when you get to the other side if your bags turn up. But uh, luckily for me, I got all my bags. I've no idea where to go. No, a clue. I got a little bit lost in the airport, but I made it outside just about. I was going through these spinning doors with all the windsurf gear, and I almost got caught. It was a bit scary, but I made it. <laughs> My plane was leaving at 6.30, so we had to leave like home, that's Tarifa, uh, like at one, half past one. And we had to take the board bags from the car parking to the airport and it was just like a shower. So I decided like to take off my pants, uh, well, my trousers and my shoes. And so I could have dry clothes when I got in and we just went running and half naked. <laughs> Maria and I had already put our stuff in the car. We knew that we had a lot of gear so it was quite hard to fit and we were a little scared that we couldn't fit all the gear in the car. Then Miguel arrived first and we sorted his stuff out. It was actually quite funny because when we pulled up Ricardo was quite next to us sorting his gear out. And then when Lucas came um, it was, it was even more tight. For one moment I thought we were not gonna make it. I, it was so tight. I yeah. have four, Maria's three. So there's there's 12 sales somewhere in there. There's another four or five Or sales. some organization, we could put it up together and it's pretty good. I was stoked. Motivational teacher with words that burn people Singing the headlines line with discord It's either genocide or the planet in uproar Never good, the rules in paradise are never nice The best laid plans of mice and men are never right I'm just a vagabond with flowers for Algernon An average Joe who knows what the fuck is going on It's the hope of my thoughts that I travel the ball Fly like an arrow of God until I'm gone So drifting away like a feather in air Letting my words take me away from the hurt and despair So I'm Maria's driving, it's scary. <laughs> oh, I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to Cliff Motor like at 8 in the afternoon, so it was getting dark. After all that traveling, me and Miguel were desperate to see the spot. We got a little bit lost on the way, we climbed over some hills. But we got like a great view of the spot and was looking like really good session. But couldn't go, it was too late. The next morning we woke up super early and uh, we were all pretty much half asleep in the car but once we saw the conditions and the spot we were pretty keen to get out. From like the hill, yeah. and you get a look from like above at the spot. Yeah, I was oh. quite nervous because it was the biggest day of the whole trip and I hadn't sailed in cold, like never. It's not big though. Now this spot, like, the look, it looks, it looks pretty fun. It looks quite fun here. Can we just go here? I was quite out of practice on that first session and it was pretty cold as well, so it's just a shock to me. It was a shame that this session couldn't have happened at the end, but it was still fun. It just crashed a lot. Uh, yeah, once I got used to it, uh, it was so fun. Like, 
tropical waves and I had like some massive jumps. Got some lunch, refueled, and then uh, the plan was to go back to Middles, uh, which is a bit further along. We pulled up and it was super heavy, so only I went out, but I was so nervous. I'm actually so nervous that I kind of feel like I'm sick. Like, okay, <laughs> streaming, and you can watch it tonight. Perfect. Streaming. You know Leon's like we we lost Leon like he's I don't know where he is. You can no find him. No, after that big stop forward. Yeah, he's like got lost. Fuck. Oh, it's like fucking huge out there. I'm like so nervous out there and so excited like or like nervous something's gonna happen. Pretty tense out there. You had like that big crash. I wanna let go? Forward. Yeah, that was what happened. I want like going right. Um I shoot into early. Like I'm holding onto my wig. And oh, I yeah, slapped yeah. the water so hard hurt that my butt hurt yeah. so bad after. Henry for going out in those conditions. A couple of times he, he fell in, but he was pretty lucky to get his gear. I'm glad I made it back to the beach because there were a few moments where, where it could have gone, could have gone wrong. Going for the next round. 